Okay, so here's the dashboard. We've got propensity models that we fit for men's sweaters, women's sweaters, women's tops. As you can see here are the people who uh, really have a strong propensity to buy women's sweaters. Uh, the ones across this top row here have a similar propensity for buying some other products besides women's sweaters. You can explore these customers, their purchase history, where they live, that sort of thing. Uh, but the purpose of this demo is I'm going to add, show you how to build and add a model to this and then take it across to Streambase to, to score that. So uh, let me go across to the data. Now here's the data, one row per customer that we've prepared using the template on our community site. Uh, and I'm now going to add a, uh, a new model here. Uh, my model, I can just, uh, well, I can just call it um, a model for men's, uh, men's running uh, model. Uh, so logistic regression model, the working data here. Um, now for the response column, um, it's going to be the uh, response um, dot any uh, with uh, you know any purchase of men's uh, running clothes is going to be the response variable. Uh, value one means there's been a purchase of of a, an item in that in that area. Um, and now for the uh, for the predictor uh, columns, I'm going to look at historical quantities of purchase. Um, now that I've filtered down to those, I'm going to use all of those as the predictors. I can just uh, I can just grab uh, grab all of these and add those in as the predictor columns. So there's my model. Uh, so I just fit this model, uh, and uh, that model uh, is going to fit. It's quite a significant chunk of data, so it'll take a little bit of time here. Uh, for that, uh, the results of that model to land in my Spotify analysis. Uh, here you can see it. Uh, I'm going to add an ROC curve in here. Um, and let me drag that into view over here. Um, I want to make sure it's a reasonable model. Uh, so let me just go into the properties here and add a uh, uh, lines and curves, um, you know, add a uh, a curve draw and let me just say y equals x here. Um, so yes indeed the ROC curve goes nicely above the 45 degree line here. It's a pretty decent model. If I look at some of the p-values of the coefficients, these historical quantities of uh, various uh, other products, uh, running clothes is a pretty big, good predictor of uh, uh, of course. Um, men's shoes, there's a variety of, uh, of uh, variables here that are pretty pretty good predictors of of, uh, of purchasing, um, so yeah, so purchasing the men's running gear. So yeah, pretty good model. I've got some pretty good coefficients. I can explore this a little bit more. The variable importance is here, for example, um, uh, looking at the, the history. Uh, you know, I can let me put in a uh, zoom slide there on the y-axis. Let me make this a little bit uh, a little bit bigger here. So yeah, you can you can play around with this and look at you know what are your good predictors um, of uh, of the men's running running clothes. Um, running clothes obviously predicts running clothes, but there's a lot of other things predicting that. But you've got a pretty good model here, uh, and so now I can go back to my uh, propensity analysis and I can uh, I can score my customers. Uh, you know the historical data I've got. I can now score uh, those customers on that historical data. And drop in, uh, you know, a panel, um, so that now I will have four models that I fit: uh, men's sweaters, women's sweaters, uh, women's tops, and uh, and men's running clothes. Um, and each of those has a, has a logistic regression model that is predicting uh, the propensity of, uh, of purchasing that uh, item from historical purchases of, um, you know, all the other products. And now I've got men's running clothes in here, uh, men's sweaters, women's tops, women's sweaters. Um, now I push those data. I can now, uh, you know, I can now uh, export. Um, if I go back over to my running model here, um, you know, I can now uh, let's see. I can now export um, this running men's running model out uh, into my uh, area here. If I go up one level to my um, product recommendation area and go into my models folder. Um, and this is where I uh, can save that model. Um, so, uh, you know, I guess so let me let me drop that in there. Um, and now I've got those four models in that uh, in that uh, model folder. 
Uh, and now over on the stream-based side, I've uh, put that uh, into motion. I've now pushed some data through that. Uh, and this recommendation service is looking up those four models. This is a tear Tico R node inside of my uh, simple, very simple bare bones stream base workflow. Um, and now I can just go and, uh, and, and drop that into my uh, you know, spot fire analysis to do, the, uh, to do the live monitoring. So if I go over to my live uh, view of these data, um, uh, you know, let's see, um, I've, got, I've been making those uh, recommended offers and you can see them now coming through, uh, through that stream-based workflow. So I'm, uh, these are the offers that are being made um, in real time. Um, you can see these, this row count is increasing as uh, I'm pushing data through it. And now I can get a live view on what are the uh, uh, offers that are being made um, and what is the acceptance rate for those various offers. So there's uh, you know, men's running clothes, we, the model we just put in there, there's been some traction on that. Men's sweaters, women's sweaters um, seems to be a, a big one. Uh, and then for folks that um, you know, are not really in, uh, in this sort of area or this area, if they're just up in this little corner here, we have, we're running a couple of promotions that are more generic um, that uh, you know, are reflected here. So some of the generic offers are, uh, are being made to folks who uh, didn't qualify for uh, an offer of one of the four products. So this cap is an offer that uh, is being made um, you know, generically. So that's the live view now of the data that uh, um, are being applied from those uh, four uh, propensity models that we built inside of Spotfire, you know, as applied through to real-time data coming across a very simple stream-based workflow, as you can just imagine just building this in a few drag and drop operations from the, from the components in the lower left here.